Welcome to today's Swarf and Chips. I'm at Fanex headquarters in Coventry. Now I hear they've got a technology day today, so I'm going to head on inside, meet Andy Armstrong, and he is going to tell us a little bit more. Thank you. Hi Andy, how are you doing? Hi, good, thanks. How yeah. are you? I'm really good. It's a big day. It's a big event. What's it all about? Uh, today's about our uh, Wire EDM Technology Day. Um, we've just set up a specific event for our customers to come and see, showcase our technologies, equipment, um, for them to look at Fanuc and our lovely facilities we have here. I can vouch that you have a lovely facility because when it first opened I had a bit of a tour and I'm sure it's all changed since. So who's, you mentioned customers, is it just purely customers that are here? Customers, potential customers, um, educational facilities, looking at uh, how they can use the technology and what we offer um, as far as our uh, wire EDM range of machines. And just quickly, what is it that you offer? What's so different in the industry? Um, for us, it's uh, the techniques, the uh, special software features, uh, the technology that can give somebody higher efficiency, better yield from the machines, and of course, the FANUC reliability. That's uh, ultimately what we're selling. I'm looking forward to finding out a lot more about these machines. Can we have a little bit yeah, of a of tour? <laughs> So I'm now inside the showroom. I've managed to collar this guy who heads up the sales here of the EDM. Andy, um, thanks for giving us a minute of your time. You're going to be a busy man today. I just want to pick out a few of the highlights that are going to be on show. First, firstly, tell me about this machine here. So this machine is a, a PCD tool cutting cell with the automation so we can load up a number of tools. Specialist PCD generator for the fine finish of the tools. Uh, this is a different method of doing this sort of application, isn't it? How would you traditionally have done, uh, say, the inserts on the on the PCD tooling? Well, traditionally, it have been done with a diamond impregnated wheel, which are very expensive. Whereas now, the the uh, tooling that we have here, wire erosion, specialist generator, makes it a lot easier to uh, manufacture. Uh, so, it, I mean, it, it's a far is it a faster process as well? Yes, because you, you you mean. The, the time spent grinding with a wheel takes time, operator time, to check and recheck, whereas once this is probed up, it's cut once and it's finished. Uh, and what about the actual uh, the finish on the insert and the, and the quality of the product? Is it as good? Uh, it can be better, actually, because some of the, you get a real very fine finish with, with uh, the wire erosion process. So not only could the, the, the quality of the product be better, it's actually a, 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 more, a less expensive solution. That's the idea. That's the plan for everyone to come and see what we've got here. and. Uh, take it away and re-engineer their uh, manufacturing. Michael, what technologies have you came to investigate today and why? Today we've actually come to visit Fanuc to explore wire EDM technology. And what applications are you exploring it for? The production of a scalpel blade for cathodic eye removal. So. We would use the uh, Fanuc EDM machine to actually cut the scalpel blade out. And will this be the first time that you've embraced this technology? For me, yes. I've never explored this previously, so. Paul, at Bromford Industries, what applications do you use EDM manufacturing for? So we use wire EDM, die spark, and we use fast hole drilling. So we, we have a range of different pieces of kit that can do small to, to large pieces from development through to production batches. We have the C800, this is on show here. You've got two applications in this machine, just briefly tell us about both. Yeah, so the first one at the back there is a, a large die plate using core stitch function. This enables us to completely cut the profile but leave it held in place using a, a brass stitch basically. It saves having to go back and lift the head, take the slug out, do the next one, completely finish the die, tap all the parts out, go on to skin cut. We, we talked about that on our podcast and the fact that when you're stitching around it leaves the material in there and then you just tap it out, don't you? Exactly, so you only have to go back to the machine once and tap them out in one go, rather than the conventional way at the moment is every, every aperture has to be removed manually. Uh, second one here then, we've got this, uh, this gear here. Is this something that people are now readily doing on your EDM technology? Yes, with the rotary table, um, gear cutting can be done in one hit rather than having to do two halves, etc. Um, small internal rads, 
set it up, leave it running overnight, come back finished. What's the smallest sort of internal rad? Uh, if you use the smallest diameter wire of 0.1, you're going to get down to sort of 0 0.55 internal rad if need be. Well, you'd struggle to, struggle to do that on another style yeah, of machine, yeah. wouldn't you? What, what, what about the finish that you get though and the accuracy of the actual finished product? Yes, it's like most of the machining products from EDM. You can get down to tolerances of plus or minus three microns. Very good surface finish. Um, cost of uh, sort of cost of ownership, the right word, or how much it costs to run these machines, Andy? I was amazed when you told me this. Roughly just over five pound an hour, but that is using the most expensive wire. So if you use a slightly lesser grade of wire, cheaper wire, the cost per hour will come down. Okay, let's move down now to the uh, other machine that's on here. This is the C600. This is uh, a machine that is going to be uh, working in conjunction with additive manufacturing. Just briefly explain what people will be able to see here today on this. So we've already parted off a few components there. What it is, it's going through the various thicknesses. As you know, 3D manufactured components are built on stands or um, support brackets. You have to cut through them, so it's very difficult going through the various thicknesses, gaps between one another. So with the eye pulse control, it's a nice stable cut part all the way through. Eye pulse control, what, what, what's that doing? It's just part of the generator system. It's all done in the background. You don't need to know too much about it. But it is basically, it's the monitoring of the spark. So every, every, one, every spark that's generated, you have to monitor and make sure it's good. And also when you're coming through a different thickness, there's a change. So it's adapting to that change really quickly to prevent the wire from breaking. Great stuff. Now, I know that today is going to be uh, busy. I know you're expecting a lot of people here. There's going to be other events held here at Fanuc throughout the uh, year. EDM for you, you, you head up this part. It's becoming quite a big part of Fanuc's portfolio. You're doing well, aren't you? Yeah, this year, it's year on year. We've had an increase in sales, um, getting lots of good exposure now. People are coming to Fanuc and seeing not only just the machines, but the facility. Uh, support after after sales support it's all, it's all it's not just the machine it's everything that comes together and on that point I'm going to hand over to Lindsay who's back with Andy Armstrong who's taken a tour of this fabulous facility so Andy why has there been such a surge in inquiries for ETM machines lately um, yeah we've, we've seen a bit of an uptake over the last few years and mainly um, because of people reinvesting in equipment that's old 18 20 years old these are highly reliable pieces of equipment but also improvements in cutting technology, accuracy, but more so also um, additive manufacturing coming along. People need new processes to finish those additive manufacturing parts off, cut them off stems, uh, and finish them ready for um, actual sale or use in, in an assembly process. So, and companies nowadays, they themselves want to make more parts. They're trying to branch out, aren't they? Make more different parts and they need different machines to make those parts on. Absolutely Lindsay and, and to be more efficient in the manufacturing process needs a little bit of automation and yeah. you know this is where we've got you know, the training school with our uh, robot uh, training area. We've got uh, two facilities here that we can run um, parallel courses where maybe one in program and one in teach pendant use uh, and really give the skills required in the industry um, to get people proficient in automation. I think the industry is changing. We are talking so much on SWAR um, about automation all the time, constantly. Yeah, automation is uh, very important. I think the uptake in the UK is uh, a lot lower than most European countries. We're looking to uh, try and promote that and, um, and really get our customers engaged in automation and how to automate, whether that's wire EDM or robo drills, machine tending applications. Even simple things, just pick and place, um, and you know we've got we've got a great facility here to teach people how to use the robots, how to program them, um, and and that end we we're going to have an automation day at the end of the year, um, end of October, uh, 29th to the 31st. Oh, put that date in your diary. Yeah, um, ultimately here we're going to showcase all our Fanuc products with automation across the whole range, how to automate give people uh, an incentive to um, to come and um, talk to us about their automation projects. You know what, uh, not just to harp on about selling this event, but you know, you're know you based in Coventry in the Midlands. Uh, companies need to learn about automation. You say we're slow on the uptake. What an incredible day to be part of. If you even just learn one new thing, I think coming along to this event m would just be incredible, priceless. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, we have the capabilities here with our systems engineering group to be able to give and provide solutions for customers to look at their inquiries yeah. and um, hopefully get them on the road to automation. Perfect. So should we head on into here? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>
Okay, Lindsay, I've just brought you into here just to show you what it's like from two years on. We're here for the YREDM day, but if you look at uh, our spares, uh, holdings now uh, fully stocked up. We've got uh, capacity is almost full in the workshop area. Um, and, and really just showing you what Fanica are about and where we're going. It looks very different to what it did two years ago. This was pretty empty and now it's full. You're going to have to need to expand even more. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, we've, we've already got plans to expand. We're just waiting for the right opportunity to do that. Um, but also people can come and see us later in the year, look at automation projects for our um, open house uh, automation days. And those are, Remind us of those October dates. Yeah, they're 29th to the 31st of October. So over three days, we're going to get uh, all the automation set up with all our equipment and showcase everything that Fanica are about. Lots to learn. So let's head on back inside and meet some of those guests who are coming here for this WIRE EDM Technology Day. Absolutely, come on. <laughs> So as you can see in the background, another presentation is happening. They've been talking about the benefits of EDM, return on investment, but also the benefits of purchasing a FANUC machine within their businesses. So why have you come here today? Well, I've come here today to see what new technologies we can utilise within our business. So what machines have you already got with I've FANUC? Got, I've got FANUC wire cut machines and I've got FANUC rover drill. And we're looking at FANUC robots now. So what do you think that you've learned more today from walking away and having this whole day and experience and all of the talks that you've experienced? Well, it's a comforting feeling that they're a good support outfit, that if you buy from them, you'll be looked after. And that's been the experience for the last 20 years. So what are you doing for the future for your business now? We're looking to utilise the equipment for more hours in a day than we have people at work. So lights out machining, machining is the way forward. So talk me through your day. What have you been part of? Um, we've obviously had a tour of the factory, the new facility here, which is very impressive. And we're actually looking to purchase a new machine as well, so we just came to see what was on offer. So is that a definite, you're going to purchase a new machine? I've been told it is a definite, yes, <laughs> in the forthcoming future, so hopefully. So why has today helped you with that purchase? Has it cemented it and why? Uh, well, we already have five Fanet Y machines, but we're looking to obviously purchase another one. And we're looking at the new 800, which will obviously open up a few more doors because of the size of the bed and the capability it has. So what's your relationship with FANUC been so far? For me personally, I've been involved with FANUC for about 18 years now and I've always trusted their machines, they've been very reliable, the productivity is good and the low cost maintenance as well. We, we've had quite a few interviews today and reliability has been the key factor. Can you talk me through that, you know, reliability, what does that mean to you as a company? Obviously, having a reliable machine keeps uh, production costs down, or maintenance costs down rather. If the machine keeps on working with minimal maintenance, then it's a win-win situation, really. So you've got FANUC machines, you've got EDM machines, yes. so why have you chosen this? We've chosen this because of its reliability over other machines that we've seen in the field that break down quite often. And if you buy something, you want to know that you switch it on at night and you come in the morning and it's still running. Paul, why have you chosen to come to this event today? So we're just looking at new technology, updating our own previous technology that we've got from old FANUC machines to, to looking at new new products. OK, so you've got an old FANUC machine. Tell us about this. So the machine we've got is one I learnt on. <laughs> um, it is about 30 years old. So you've given your age away a little bit yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> so it is quite old. Uh, and we're just looking at updating some of our kits. So. Well, we've got a very kind invitation from Andy Spence, the product manager of sales. And we've got a long-standing relationship with FANUC from Tom Bougier right the way through. And we were down for the opening event. And it's time to support and continue to work in partnership with FANUC, who are an excellent company. So what is the support that they've given you? Well, total support from the product development right away through. And this facility here, over the last two years, embraced that uh, with the maintenance, with the supplies, with the extra facilities that they do, and the way they do business. So it's excellent. I'm currently an EDM user. I've been for 20 years. We use this process in conjunction with CNC milling and CNC turning. Now, how does it work in conjunction with CNC milling? Basically, you can take away some of the manual chunking out of material. You can take a big plate of material and cut out several parts overnight and then finish off milling them or turning them. This will actually save you quite a lot of time. Our company, uh, Certec, uses EDM 
we have um, <coughs> four machines, uh, various ages. Um, they all work as accurate as each other. And then um, predominantly we are um, a press, press tool making company. We do um, a lot of steels, separate components. Um, all, we use it for everything, single cuts, uh, skim, up to four cuts we use for the high quality finishes. Neil, give me an example of how you use fast old drilling within your facility. Well, there's certain applications where we have a thick piece of material that if we used a milling machine for a very small hole, say a one mil, that the drill would actually just drift and go off centre. So we use fast hole drilling to achieve a nice parallel hole through that material up to about 80 mil. You're right, gents. I see uh, it's the end of the day. You sort yourself out with a hot drink. I've got a hot chocolate. It's been a great day. How did you find it? I thought it was brilliant. I think the, the fact that... Well, the facility is tremendous. I mean, put EDM aside, I know that's been the focus today, but they have another event here on October the 29th, 30th and 31st this year where they cover covering all aspects of FANUX business. So if you didn't get here today, then there's a great chance uh, to come again. I know you're going to ask me about my highlights. I'm going to give you one very quickly. The PCD tooling, the automation on that, the fact that you can, you, there's, there's a new process, wire cut your EDM, uh, wire cut your PCD uh, tooling inserts far more effectively and efficiently using FANUX technology. So that would be what I'd take away. The thing is, you come to these events and you learn so much more, don't you? And oh, when you see it in person. Told a joke as well, which I, he told a joke. I learned Geo that. told a joke. I didn't, Lindsay. I'm not very funny, but uh, my highlights, Lindsay, um, for, for, for sure, were the way in which you can use EDM in conjunction with other technologies such as additive manufacturing, milling, and actually speaking to some of the users of EDM technology um, and learning about how they em embrace the technology and from embracing it have found new applications for that technology and it's become one of the most valuable pieces of equipment in their workshop. It's brilliant. The one word I've heard today over and over again from EDM users, uh, automotive, automation users, is reliability. Fanex products are so reliable. They are. They last the test of time. I think that comes down to the fact that the machines, uh, not only the hardware, but the software is all Fanex. The controls, the drives, mm. the motors, one integrated solution from one provider. So what was that joke? Uh, I couldn't tell you uh, over camera. <laughs> tell me afterwards. Thank you so much for watching this week's Wharf and Chips. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And in the theme of today, what are we going to say? Uh, keep those wire cutters cutting. He's a bright spark. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>